Hi, this is the first lesson and looking at uh, 3D modeling. So we're, we're in Blender. Uh, I've just opened it with a, a new scene. So in this lesson, we're just going to look at the very basics of navigating the Blender interface. So um, the first thing is moving around the interface. So if you hold the mouse button down, uh, the mouse wheel, sorry, and just move the mouse left and right, or up and down, you'll be able to um, sort of navigate and look around your object in 3D space. So that's the mouse wheel. Hold it down, rotate around. Um, the mouse wheel can also be used to zoom in by scrolling up and down. You can zoom in and out of your object. And if you hold shift and move and hold the mouse wheel, you can pan left and right, up and down. So with those combined, you can move the scene about however you want, look at an object from um, different points. Um, I'm just going to add another object. So when you have another object like this, you see it's rotating around the middle object, the first object. I can shift and try and center that one, but it, it might not work as they intend. So if you use the full stop on your number pad, and it has to be the one on your number pad, that will make that object the center. So I can then um, choose the other object, hit the full stop on the number pad, and that's a really handy way of um, moving around different objects in your scene and trying to uh, so you're not battling with the camera so the other things um, we've got over here is we're in object mode so this video will just be about object mode and um, we're also in layout mode so this is where we could lay out our scene with multiple objects and manipulate the objects so we have cursor mode that's just to select different objects we have the move mode so we have three axes aligned to the world axes so we've got the y-axis so you have a little gizmo up here telling you which axis they are we have the x-axis and we have the z-axis um, we can also rotate so we can rotate along the x-axis we can rotate along the y-axis or we can spin it in the z-axis. Now, what you might notice then is that if you try and move an object, you'll notice that these um, axes are still aligned to the world axis, which, which can be what you want quite often. I can move this object this way or I can move it up and down but I might actually want to move it in the direction it's pointing and that's a bit of a, a problem because I'd have to maybe try and move it that way a bit and up a bit and this way a bit and that would be difficult. So we need to switch the um, axis mode and up here it's currently in global which means it, it's using the world axes. If we switch it to local it will then turn to the coordinate system of the actual object you're using. So this one, the arrow is pointing up, but this one, the arrow is pointing in the direction it's facing. So we can now move it like we'd want to do. So that's a really useful um, tip for navigating your objects in 3D space. Um, the last one here, we're going to look at a scale. So if you put your cursor in the white circle, and move um, with the left mouse button you can scale the object uniformly so the same in each axis or individually um, let me do that on this object here so you can see so scale it this way or we could scale it up we could scale it in and obviously if we change this to the local axes we can then scale this one the same way. So scaling, um, moving, make sure you're in the right um, sort of system, whether you're using global or local axes, and then just get used to moving objects about. 
To add more objects to your scene, you go to add and then mesh and then choose an object. So a cube or a sphere, have a little go with that. So just get used to navigating around, get used to uh, making objects. I'll add, we'll add the uh, famous Suzanne monkey head. Get used to using the um, full stop on your number pad. Get used to zooming in and out and get used to moving around and get comfortable just manipulating objects in 3D space. Um, so the next video will um, have a look at switching modes and editing an object itself. Thank you.